All right, I'm all set up to start filling the system. I have an 80 gallon tank inside, so I'm basically just gonna pump this, the rest of this drum in. We're filling it up. I've got my glycol feeder on. For some reason, this gauge is not registering any pressure, but my, it's a little hard to read with the light, but we're sitting at like 12 PSI-ish, um, maybe 14. So that's perfect. That's right where I want it to be. Um, I think that I don't see any other drips. <laughs> this one looks dry. This one looks dry. I don't see any other leaks. So I think at this point, I need to turn on the heat pump and that will allow this circulator to run and that should help bleed out any other air that might be in that loop. I'm just gonna let that run and it's also gonna turn the heat pump on so I'll run out and see what, what's going on there too. So, I'm a little nervous because, you know, first time you start something up. Now, I do have this circulator is my zone circulator. This is disconnected right now. I, there's no power here. Um, and I've got my zone valves still off. Now, these are filled from previously, but I still have this off. Um, I don't want to lose that in case if something goes wrong here. This HBX controller will be doing essentially all the work, but upon first startup, uh, this is the factory controller, so I'll have to go here and set the set points all the way hot for heating and all the way cold for cooling so that there's a constant demand from this and that'll allow the HBX to kind of override and do its own temperature control. So according to the manual what should happen is I'll turn power on at the breaker and then I'll turn the power button on here and my circulator pump should start immediately and then the heat pump should start a bit after that. So I guess uh, system's full of water. So we'll just see what happens here, I guess. Okay, that's a good sign. So I believe that's my set temperature and that's my current temperature. What I, I want to change the mode. I think it's in like hot water mode right now. Oh, set, set point, yeah, 50. So for heating, I'm just gonna set the set point all the way up, which I guess is 50. Okay. And I'm not sure how to change the mode. Okay, this pump just turned on. I can feel it. And you can see, so right there, uh, pump. And, oops, sorry about the little glare, but that's on. Cooling, cooling demand, I turned that on, so. We should start purging any air out, and you can see we've got about uh, 15 psi here and 10 there so that's good so that seems to be operating fine I'm on uh, low speed here just for startup I'm gonna go outside and check on the heat pump and see how that's up oh, pan just kicked on right there so let me go check that out and compressor well there we are it's running. This is a big, big, big day. I'm so excited. It's very, very quiet. I gotta get these barrels out of here, but fans running. This is exciting. So in theory, we're cooling. We're cooling the tank right now. Awesome. I can't tell you how excited I am. 
Let's go inside again. This is this is great. All right, check it out. So here we've got was that 8 psi and 65 degrees and over here we've got like 11 psi and 72 75 degrees so we're cooling the, the, the heat pump is working that's the feeder so the pressure got a little bit low as the air works its way out, so it brought the system pressure back up. Everything seems to be working exactly as planned. Now I gotta check the, the speed. I might have to run a little faster here, um, but I have a chart, so with my pressure differential, I can know how fast the, the, the pump should be running. Um, but I think, uh, I think everything's looking really, really good so far. Now, I'm just going to cool the tank down a bit. Um, there is probably air still in the the circulation loop, but I have to, I have to wire that in. Um, so, but look at that. Tank's down to 75. We're shooting for a target of 61 degrees. This one's always going to show... Basically, I, I, on cooling, I set it as low as it goes, which is zero, which the C, which is not, you know, reasonable. But this is doing the controlling. I just bumped a circulator up to the medium speed, which now gets me, what's that, maybe 9 PSI to maybe 15 or 16. So it's basically like 7 PSI of differential. Um, my chart right here is in feet of head versus GPM. I have the 060, the green line. Um, so 7 PSI is about 16 feet ahead. So if you move over, we're sitting right around maybe 11, 11 and a half GPM right now. I think the unit wants 13 um, for rated capacity. So I might bump that up one more time just to see what we get. Yep. Just went to high. So now we're at 10 PSI on suction and 18 on supply. 8 PSI is about 18 feet ahead. Move over. That's just a little above 12. So I think that's good. All right, so I just wired in my zone circulator. It won't come on yet because I'm not going to turn any of the zones on upstairs, but I do want to open these. I got to get that hose off of there. Um, I do want to open the zones to the rest of the system. Okay. All right, that's that. I definitely got some air out of there. We're a little high on the supply side, potentially. 21, it's about the maximum. Um, so I might, there's gonna be some air coming out as we circulate, but we'll just, uh, let's see what happens here. Alright, I'm going to let that run. We're getting down 67 and it's shooting for 61, so I could actually turn on a zone upstairs and it's going gonna, it's gonna to start cooling. Very, very happy. Alright, so the zone just opened. The pump just kicked on. So we're doing 12 watts. There's only one zone that's open, one GPM. This is the one zone I have on right now. There is air blowing from it. I can't tell if it's cool yet, but it's probably gonna take a bit to kinda 
get up to speed and this this agrees 80 degrees with the thermostat on the wall so I think I've got it set to uh, I don't know what I have it set to I'm not sure how to wake it up whatever 75 or something like that okay the heat pump just turned off Ooh, sorry about the glare 58 degrees is the current temp 61 was the target so it just shut off my zone is on I've realized it's the middle zone here I don't think my flow meter thing here is working at all unless it's not actually flowing I'm not sure but this is saying 14 watts 2 GPM It's on low speed. Medium speed. 18 watts. 19. High speed. 24 watts. It's still 2 GPM. This is pressure control. Might be what we want. Oh, we'll just have to see. Okay, it's definitely working. 75 degrees here. And 82 there. So we're, we're definitely pulling heat out of the room. This temperature should start to fall as it pulls from this side of the tank. This is cold. That's cold there. So it's, it's going to be pulling from here. And it's just going to take a while. Yep, and that's warmer. Excellent. I think we're working. I'm going to leave it on uh, pressure control number two for now and just kind of see how that goes. So I've opened up a second zone upstairs. So we should start to see this flow start to go up. I just heard the, the valve open. Um, so as it opens up more and more, we'll see this flow increase. All right, I've got all three zones opened up. Um, looks like our temperatures are still sitting about 65 and what's that 83 so yeah this is working great tanks still 57 flows going up three should go up a little bit more once that other zone opens up 18 watts not bad not bad pretty thrilled about this I'm gonna let this run for a while I'll check back in later. So this has been running for about a day. Um, there's a couple issues. Um, the first is that, well, and the most major is that we're not really getting much cooling performance upstairs. Um, it basically isn't really doing anything. And one of the things I realized was that I had left this check valve in the circulator here. So you can see it's at 43 watts. This is basically maxed out. It's doing 4 GPM with the check valve in there. In the same one zone open, it was about 2 GPM. So uh, that makes a really big difference. So I'm hoping that'll help. Um, the other thing that I realized, I made a mistake. And I've got this manifold plumbed backwards. So right now my supply water comes in here and the valves are, are on this side, goes out, comes back and the flow meters are here and it returns to the tank. Um, normally this would be the other way around, which is why my flow meters are not registering anything. They need to go the other way in order to work. So, um, Everything I've read says that it'll actually work just fine like this. You just won't have the flow meters. 
Um, we are still getting, what is that, 65 degrees supply temp upstairs. And it's coming back at like 82, um, which is still a really, really large delta T. I would think we should be more in the range of uh, 10 to 15 degrees. Maybe 10 degrees would be good, but um, we'll just see what happens with this run for a little while. All right, so I made a couple changes to really improve the performance. Um, the primary thing was, I think I mentioned I had the manifold plumbed backwards. Um, so I flip-flopped which hose goes to which side of the manifold. There's a there's union couplings here, so um, that was the easiest way to do it. Unfortunately, my plumbing, the, the pipe routing is not great, but this is... Um, this is what we got right now, and I might, you know, if this is good, maybe I'll redo over there, but we'll see. Um, but anyways, I'm getting 5 GPM at the highest, let's see if you can read that better, 5 GPM at the highest pressure, constant pressure setting. Um, I was getting 3 to 4 previously, and this is on the longest loop into the bedroom. In addition to flipping these, I had to flip the these hoses up on the fan coils so that the in and the out stay the proper direction. But um, this is working much better and it also allows my flow meter to work. So now my flow meters work. You can kind of see this one's buried, but if I uh, if I close that down, you can kind of see it's it's moving, but I want it all the way open. So I'm just going to let that kind of get the air out. Um, the system has been self-purging very well. I've got a bleeder up here in the tank. I'm leaving that open just to let any air out. Um, and I've got a air scoop kind of thing here, spiral vent. Um, that's been working well, and the glycol feeder is working good. I don't know if you can see. Yep. So it was right full up, and so I've taken this apart, I don't know, half a dozen times to fix issues. So um, once I'm all set, hopefully we don't have any leaks and that doesn't go down, but this has been working really well to keep the system pressure where it should be. That was just some air purging out. Everything's working really good.